Good morning. Hello and welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time visiting, my name is Daphne and I want to welcome you to another Wingman's Wellness Wednesday conversation. And joining me is my best bud, Vesame. How are you doing this morning, Vesame? I'm great, Daphne. Thank you for having me. As you can see, we kind of change venues. I'm in my kitchen today. <laughs> That's wonderful because we're going to talk about fueling your workouts. So over the past couple of video logs, we've probably alluded to the fact that um, I have had the pleasure of working with Vesame for several years. And what we wanted to do today was to talk about one of the pillars of lifestyle medicine, which is physical activity, but more specifically, how are you fueling your workouts? What do you do before, during, and after your workout in order to ensure that you're getting optimal gains and optimizing your recovery. And I thought Vesame was the best person to have this conversation with. So first of all, Vesame, what was your motivation for allowing me to torture you or to actually jumping on board with a structured physical activity plan? Daphne, I, you know, it was a, a change after having three kids. I'm a busy wife and mom, full-time job, as I've mentioned before. Um, I found myself slipping into the same routine that really wasn't serving me and providing me time. And so I, I immediately knew you were the right person for me, um, not just that because we were coworkers, but because I had seen your fitness journey as well. And I thought, hey, you're a physician, you have a lot of experience in this. I know you're gonna take me through a very healthy journey um, where I, you know, ease into things back back into things um so yeah i went ahead and this is me time my workouts are actually me time and it it really does make me a better person and it's been a pleasure to work with you um and just watching how you've grown and even how you have changed physically over the years has been wonderful but i think the other thing that i was hoping we could share with the audience today is I've also seen that you've changed how you feel your workouts or how you think about powering um, and getting the energy you need to optimize your performance. So can you share a little bit about how you fully feel your performance during your workouts? Absolutely. So I, so depending on what I, what workout you're going to put me in this excruciating pain, <laughs> which one I'm going to do depends on what I, so for cardio days, I will not have um, a protein shake prior. I will just have water um, and really hydration is key also. But, um, but I do, you I do have a vegan protein shake. I'm partial to leveraging Arbonne products because of their strict ingredient policy. You know, Arbonne bans over 2,000 ingredients, whereas FDA bans less than 15. And so it has just been something that, um, that I have supported. And I have seen the result in my body since using those products. And so I do leverage a protein shake early in the morning. I actually can show you how I make one. It takes two minutes because the morning rush is real. Um, in a house full of three boys headed off to school. So um, do you mind if I show you, Daphne? Please do. Okay. All right. Awesome. So I actually just got um, one started. So this is, I use a Nutribullet. You can use any blender. I'm not partial to anything, but I've already filled it up with unsweet vanilla almond milk. Yes, we're continuing that plant-based um, as much as we can. And so unsweet vanilla almond milk, a little bit of water and some ice. And I put two scoops of the Arbonne Vegan Protein Powder. Um, our, the other thing about Arbonne that I love is that they eliminate some of the common allergens like soy, gluten, whey, dairy. Um, so all of that is for you. No, no artificial flavors or colorings, which is key. So I take this, so two scoops of that protein. I also add some organic baby spinach into it. Um, into the shake. I think that this also adds, you don't really taste the spinach and it adds all the necessary vitamins that you need. Um, and then my favorite is um, frozen cherries. So I just do a little bit of frozen cherries and blend it up. I'm not going to blend it here for the sake of time, but I did make one all ready to go. So I just got done my workout that you had given me. Um, it was cardio day today. And so I will be having my shake here shortly. 
So Besame, you mainly have your fuel after your workout. Do you, so do you actually work out fasted? So, right. So sometimes I work out fasted. So cardio days, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I just don't like having that food, food or protein yep. shakes or anything in my body when I'm doing cardio. Uh, but for the weight training days that you give me, um, I will have this earlier on and then and then go and weight train. I feel like I need a little bit more substance in order to power through the workout. Wonderful. And so in addition to fueling your workouts, how about hydration? I know one of the things that we had worked on probably a couple of years ago was how to make sure you stay hydrated. So I'm like you, I have my water bottle with me most of the time. I have a um, a flask that I probably might, exactly, I probably fill it four times a day. And I even keep it filled next to my bed when I sleep at night. But what are your tricks for staying hydrated? I, so I don't like, so hydration is key. I absolutely agree. I will tell you that I am not a fan of just plain water. I like flavor in my water. So what I do is I put lemon slices. So this is a 32 ounce water bottle that I fill up twice a day. So it's recommended half of your body and a half of your body weight in ounces of water that you should consume in a day. Um, and so I put lemon wedges in my water. I can, in summertime, I, we grow fresh mint. So I'll put some mint in there. You could do basil, you could do cucumbers. There's so many ways of flavoring your water, but definitely it's key to get that hydration in because it's only going to serve and fuel your body and your body will respond to that proper hydration as well. And just as a reminder for anyone who just joined us, I'm here with Vesame and we are talking about how to fuel your workouts, which is a good transition into a topic that you hear a lot about in the industry, which is pre-workouts and recovery drinks. So, Besame, I know with your experience and with your business, you you have had an opportunity to explore some of the um, supplements that are available to our listeners. And you know, like you, like I do, I have some of my favorites. But can you talk a little bit about some of what you have found are very helpful in terms of either pre workouts or recovery drinks? Absolutely. So when I know that you're going to shred and burn my muscle, Daphne, which you often do, I will do a combination of, um, it, Arbonne has a phytosport line. And so I will do a combination of that and an energy fizz stick just to give me a little boost through my workouts. Um, and so, yes, you're right. There's so many options on the market. I just recommend that everybody take a look at the ingredients because those are key. We don't want to have the sugars and the artificial sweeteners and, you know, a ton of other junk that's not necessary. And that's why I do like and leverage the Phytosport line at Arbonne. So there's three products in that line. Um, there's the Complete Hydration, which has uh, six electrolytes. It has also B vitamins. It is actually a great hydration um, stick for the hot days if you're going to go for a run outside. Um, also, I give it to my kids when they're going to be playing soccer you know, four games in a weekend, I will make sure they're properly hydrated with this. It's actually so much better than some of the off the shelf sports drinks that you can get from the grocery store that really have a ton of sugar. So this has minimal sugar. Um, it gives you the electrolytes that you need. The next one is the prep and endure, which I absolutely love. And I actually mix a prep and endure and our energy fizz sticks. The great thing with the prep and endure is that, um, it provides uh, two amino acids that are key, which is um, arginine and citrulline. And those two are, um, are key because it provides you the oxygen and nutrient delivery into your muscles. And so while you're working out, it also gives you a little bit of a boost. And I've noticed a huge, you know, any type of CrossFit training, this is something that's key. So um, I have lots of my clients who love this. Um, the endurance runners, the people who are cycling 100, uh, 100 miles a week. And so I love that. Um, and the last is, a, is the post-workout, which I was sipping on after because my legs are a little shaky. 
speaking of right now after the the cardio workout that i did um all of these products again they have vitamins uh minerals and those micronutrients like we were chatting about that's me thanks for sharing that and i I've, I've tried those and i agree with you that they actually do help and i would encourage our listeners to explore some of the things that may work for them and even to share in the comments below if they have tips or tricks that they want to share. But as we wrap up today, I want to talk a little bit more about one thing that I think is really important to feel a workout, which is sleep. So we could probably have a, a complete video log just talking about sleep, and I think we probably will in the months ahead. But I wanted to get your input on how important has it been to you as you've really focused on your physical activity, your nutrition, to add sleep to that triad of helping you just tackle your day, but even more importantly, have the energy to work out hard. If sleep is so important, Daphne, and our culture underestimates it. I feel it as though you know our culture has taken in that the harder we work, the better a person we are, and that is so not true. Um, we absolutely need essential sleep. And so I have, everybody's heard the 80-20 rule. So 80% is nutrition, 20% being physical activity. I actually broken it down a little bit more. So it's 70, um, 20, 10. So 70 nutrition, proper nutrition is absolutely key. Um, 20% uh, for your physical activity, and then 10% is essential sleep. So I personally have to get eight hours of sleep, and I know there are so many people that are like, she is kidding me. No, I'm not. I actually put myself to bed just like I put my kids to bed because it is so important. And um, I hope all the listeners out there understand that turn off your phone, set it aside, nothing's that important, and um, just, you know, just unwind and relax and get that proper night's sleep. And you've touched on all the four things that I think are really important, which is your fueling, your hydration, your recovery, and your sleep. So, Bessame, as we wind up today's video log, is there anything else you want to share with our audience that you've learned that's been important to you over the years um, in terms of not only fueling for your physical activity, but fueling for life? Absolutely. So I just want to say that I saw an image the other day that was an image of two ladders. One had smaller steps and one had larger gaps in between the steps. And they were the same height. Uh, and one person, the one who had the smaller steps, got to the top faster than the one who had several big steps. I'll actually post the image um, in our comments here. But I, I will say that is so key. Consistency is key. So no, you're not going to get the results that you want in one week, two weeks, one month, two months. It's going to take time. And I think that if you don't put those outrageous goals that are so close and near term, that you will you will absolutely reach and achieve the goals that you're trying to, to get. And I think that's what benefited me the most through your program, Daphne, is because I was able to, you ease me in injury-free, and also I was able to maintain it consistently. I wasn't dreading my workouts. Um, so consistency just led me to the, the result and outcome that I've always wanted to achieve. So thank you for that. Well, you're welcome. I mean, that my joy in life is working with people like you and your family. And just as you said, it's one step at a time. These don't have to be big changes. No. We really encourage all of our listeners and we re encourage ourselves to adopt those tiny habits and take those small steps that can actually lead to bigger changes down the line. And that's what makes all of this journey fun. Okay. So, Vesame, thank you so much. Thank um, you. As always, I, I love learning something from you. And I would encourage anyone listening to share with us what's one thing that you learned today that may have a positive impact on your health and wellness. And more importantly, are there things that you love to hear us talk about as we plan our, our schedule of just health snacks and tips to share in the weeks ahead? If you enjoyed this video log, please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel so that you can get more updates on our Wellness Wednesdays. And we hope you have a wonderful day and we'll talk again soon. Take care.